do you want to edit like this? If you do, watch to the end of the video. Yo, what's going on guys? It's G-Money here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to double your edit speed. And I'm going to show you guys some of the tips and tricks that I do. And this video should be really helpful to some people because I know that I use every single tip and trick that I've put in this video and it's helped me a lot. So I hope it helps you guys too. And I also wanted to say that 59% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you enjoy my videos, please do subscribe. It's free and make sure to turn on post notifications, drop a like if you like the video and comment what you think if these tips and tricks helped you or what. Let me know and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. All right, first thing I like to do when I get on is load up a Raider 464 piece control map. Play this for a little bit and it helps my overall consistency and my piece control and I just get kind of more warmed up when I play this. So I just play this for a little bit and it actually helps me a lot. So I'll leave this code in the description for you guys. And you don't even have to do this map for that long. You only have to do it for like five to eight minutes. So then when you free build, it's kind of easier and you're more warmed up to play the game. Then it seems like I'm done doing that, I just go into my creative map and then I just rebuild for a minute. And while I'm free building, I'll just stop free building for a second and place like a cone or a floor. And I'll just spam edit it and just do one tiles on it so that my consistency with one tiles is faster and more consistent. So this is what I do like in between while I'm free building. I'll just stop and then just start spam editing. And then it makes me more consistent later on. Okay, also another tip. One of the biggest tips throughout this entire video and something that helps me so much is using edit and release with double edit binds, right? I know it seems like, why would you need both? When you have one on it seems like one is good enough right but with both you can use your confirm button to just confirm every edit right but just so you mess up then you just lean on your confirm edit release to do the rest of the work and confirm for you so in tokens and stuff i need to be consistent you say i mess up edit because i'm not really i don't really use my confirm button all the time like on some edits i'll, I'll use my confirm button on some edits i'll use my edit release so you just lean on your confirm and release to do the rest of the work for you and it just edits by itself in case you mess up, right? So if you don't already use this or you're not already used to these double edit binds and stuff, I suggest that you get used to it and turn on confirm and release. This helps me so much. And I only use edit release on ramps and walls. So whenever I'm not doing double edits, whenever I'm not editing a floor or a cone, then I'm just letting it edit by itself. So if I'm editing a ramp or a wall, then I'm just letting edit release do it by itself. I'm just letting go and it's just doing it by itself. But if I'm doing double edits, then I'm pretty much always, 100% of the time, clicking my confirm button. And it's just so much faster for me. Like I said, I can pretty much edit with it on and off. So I turned it off in this clip to show you guys my speed. So with it on and with it off. All right, one more tip. Go to your settings, then go to your controller binds, and then look at controller platform. All right, you see generic, PlayStation, and Xbox One, right? I switch between generic and Xbox One and creative because sometimes generic will feel more delayed or Xbox will feel more delayed. So I just switch between them and use whatever I'm feeling. And in competitive, I use PlayStation uh, 4 layout, right? I don't know why, but it feels like it gives me more aim assist, and it could be placebo, but I just use whatever I'm feeling. And sometimes they feel different, and sometimes they feel the same. Just give it a try and see which one you feel the best on. Also, another setting, you see switch mode slash edit on my bottom D-pad. I use that for less delay and I've been using it since it became like, it, since it was, you know, a less delay input thing. That, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you. So, I don't know what it does either, but it could be also placebo, but it does work. And when I take it off, I feel a little bit more delayed. So just bind it to something that you don't use and then see if you feel a little bit less delayed. 
And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something out of it. I hope you guys got better. And if you enjoyed these videos, make sure to comment down below telling me to make more of these types of videos, how to get faster, how to get less infinitely, how to play certain things, you know, how to get better at certain things. Just let me know in the comments. Make sure to drop a like, turn on notifications, subscribe, and let me know, like I said, if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.